Home computer you buy network stack BIOS, what is network stack in BIOS? Should you enable it? The network stack in BIOS refers to the implementation of a network protocol stack within the BIOS firmware. This feature allows a computer to perform network operations before an operating system is loaded, primarily facilitating functionalities like network booting, PXE boot, remote management, and diagnostics. Components and functions of network stack in BIOS, 1. PXE, pre-boot execution environment, enables booting a computer using a network interface, which is useful for deploying operating systems over a network. 2. Network boot, allows the system to load an operating system from a network server rather than a local storage device. 3. Remote management, provides capabilities for IT administrators to manage and troubleshoot computers remotely. 4. Diagnostics, allows running diagnostic tools over the network. When to enable network stack? You should enable the network stack if, 1. Network booting, you need to boot the computer using a network server, such as for installing operating systems or booting diskless workstations. 2. Remote management, your organization uses remote management tools that require the network stack for functionalities like wake on LAN or remote diagnostics. 3. Enterprise environment, you're in an enterprise setting where centralized management and deployment of operating systems are common practices. When to disable network stack? You should disable the network stack if, 1. No need for network boot, your computer boots from a local storage device and does not require network-based booting. 2. Security concerns, enabling network functionalities in the BIOS might expose the system to network-based attacks during the boot process. Disabling it can reduce this risk. 3. Performance, reducing unnecessary functionalities can slightly improve boot times and system performance. Conclusion, whether to enable the network stack in BIOS depends on your specific use case. For typical home or personal use, it's generally unnecessary and can be disabled for simplicity and security. For enterprise environments or specific scenarios requiring network booting and remote management, it should be enabled to leverage those functionalities.